There are four main parts to a circuit. Any simple circuit has a source, that's where the electricity flow comes from. In this case, I've drawn these lines like this. Those indicate a battery because I've got two cells there. So my source is two cells. Then there's a load. That's the thing that uses the electricity. And in this case, I've drawn what I would consider a good diagram for a light bulb, although there are different versions of drawing them. But that's the load. In this case, it's a light bulb. I need a conductor. That's the wire used in the circuit to get the electricity to flow. And I have a control. A control is a switch. So this turns the electricity flow on and off. So those are the four parts in a circuit. Um, some of the other videos I have talk about series and parallel, but I'm going to cover it just briefly here. Series is when you have one thing after the other. The electricity only has one path to go through. Here are two bulbs in series. So the electricity goes through this, goes through the first bulb, goes through the second bulb, and continues on. If one of these is disconnected, then the electricity can't flow at all. There's also something called parallel. Parallel is when you have one beside the other. And if you look here, I've got one bulb beside the other. The electricity has two paths it can flow. The electricity can go through here, through that bulb, and back out to the source, or the electricity can go through here, through that bulb, and back out to the source. So the electricity has two paths here, or more than one path. The electricity in series only has one path. Now when you're going to draw a circuit, and I'm going to keep it to very simple ones, um, I think the easiest way is to put um, the source on one side of your diagram and what's being used, the loads, on the other side, and then add the switches. For instance, if I want to draw a circuit with um, two cells in parallel, I'll put the source, all, all the electric generation on this side, so I have something like this. There are my two um, cells in parallel. So I've got one battery here, or one cell, and one cell here. Now I'm going to put whatever's using that electricity over on the right-hand side. So it might say you have two um, cells in parallel, and you want two light bulbs in series uh, on this side. So I go like this, okay, one light bulb, and then series means one after the other, so it's simple like that. There are two light bulbs in series. And it says, add a switch to turn them on and off. If I add a switch here, like that, and we always draw the switch open, even though we're talking about a circuit that when it's closed, electricity flows. If I put a switch here, electricity can't get from this side to this side, so it can't go through the bulb, can't go through this bulb, can't go back. So both these bulbs go off. Now I'm going to clean this up, and we're going to draw a couple more circuits. Okay, I'm going to draw a circuit with two cells in series and three light bulbs in parallel and some switches to turn the bulbs off individually and one to turn the whole circuit on. So I need two cells in series. So I'm going to put the source over here and the load over here. So two cells in series. There's one. There's the other. Series means one after the other. And on this side, I'm going to put three bulbs in parallel. So I'm going to go like this. There's one bulb. There's the other bulb, and there's the third. Three bulbs in parallel. Now, I want a switch that will turn each light off individually. If I put a switch here, it's going to stop the electricity flowing here, and it's going to shut off all three of them. If I want to shut off just this bulb, I need to put a switch right here. That stops the flow of electricity here, but electricity can still go through this bulb. So if I want to switch for each bulb, I put them like this. I can turn on and off each bulb individually. If I want to turn the whole thing off, I need something over here. And it doesn't matter whether it's here, or here, or here. Anywhere in that is going to stop electricity flowing through that wire, and it won't get to these. If I wanted to just have a switch to turn these ones on and off, but leave this one on all the time, I could put a switch in here. If I put a switch in here, the electricity could still flow through there and turn that bulb on but this switch would run these two. So there are many varieties of things you can do. Let's do one more diagram, and then we're going to put in uh, voltmeters and ammeters to take measurements in this and see where we can put those. Okay, let's draw one with two cells in parallel, uh, one bulb in series, and two other bulbs in parallel. So I'm going to put my source on one side, my load on the other. I want two cells in parallel. So there's one, there's the other, Okay, on this side I have my two cells in parallel. Now to this I'm going to join my, my loads. And what I've got here is one bulb in
in series with two in parallel. So there we go there, there we go there. I've got one in series and these two in parallel. The electricity has to go through this and then it splits up and it can go through either of those. Now what about switches? Well, if I put a switch here, it's going to turn off all the bulbs because electricity can't, go, can't get through to this wire, so it can't get through to there or through to there. If I put a switch here, the electricity could turn on and off this bulb. Assuming that switch is closed and the electricity is flowing, that switch is just for that bulb. This switch here would be just for this bulb. So I can put switches in different places. This switch, by the way, could be over here. If I put that switch over here, the electricity can't get through that wire. Well, if it can't get through that wire, it can't go through the cell and make it to any of these bulbs. So this, this switch could be put in a number of places and have the same effect. So now what we need to do is figure out where do we put voltmeters and ammeters here to take our measurements.